एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Today we will be discussing series solution of a linear differential equation of second order. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Dr. Neelam. For more details on the topic, you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing. Details of which are given on this portion, and link is given in the description box. So we will start with the series solution. So first of all, we need to understand what is the need of series solution. In the previous videos, we have already discussed the, about the general solution of a linear differential equation of second order. But there was a restriction in finding out complementary function and particular integral that the linear differential equation must be with constant coefficients. Now, this is not the case which is always true in real life. In real life, the, the coefficients of uh, the dependent variable and its derivative, they may, be, they may not be constant always. They may be non-constant also. So then it becomes, it, uh, sometimes it becomes very difficult unless the uh, uh, equation is in Cauchy-Euler equation where the coefficients are not constant but it can be reduced to a linear differential equation with constant coefficient by having a substitution for the independent variable x and the substitution was x equals to e raised to the power t and the Cauchy-Euler equation would have been reduced to linear differential equation with constant coefficient. But it is not always that uh, the, differential equation, uh, the differential equation will be reducible to this form. Whenever the differential equation is not reducible in this form, then it gives a problem in finding out the complementary function and hence particular integral by method of variation of parameter. So, series solution is the option which can be used in any case. There is no restriction for the series solution of a differential equation. So, we will start with series solution. So, as the name indicates, we are going to have a series as in the form of a solution. So, let us say that the differential equation given as px y double dash plus qx y dash plus rxy and let us say this equals to 0. We are not bothered about the right hand side. You will uh, see in the uh, process that even if it is not, const uh, not 0, then also this, uh, this method is applicable. So, if this is the differential equation given, then we can see that the coefficients, they are not constant and therefore, we need to find out the solution using series solution. So, there are few conditions which we need to satisfy to apply the series solution. So, uh, we need to understand one more thing that the series solution is an approximation technique. Therefore, we need to decide a point about which we would like to find the solution. So, let us say that we need to find the solution about x equals to x naught where x naught is lying in the interval for which x is decide, uh, defined. Now, if this equation is divided by px, so it can be written as qx by px y dash plus rx px y is equals to 0. Now, if x equal, at x equals to x naught, we need to decide that what kind of point it is. There will be two type of points. One, this will be an ordinary point. We can, we can see like this. So, we can substitute it here, x equals to x naught. So, this will be an ordinary point, ordinary point if this qx by px and rx by px, if qx divided by px and this rx by px, they are analytic, are analytic at x equals to 0. So, if they are analytic at x equals to 0, then it is called an ordinary point. And if it is an ordinary point, then the solution can be written as yx 
as sigma n is from 0 to infinity a n x minus x naught raised to the power n. If we expand this, this can be seen as it will be written like a naught plus a 1 x minus x naught plus a 2 and so on so forth plus a n x minus x naught raised to the power n and so on. Since the, the number of terms are infinite they, and they, this is a series, therefore it is called a series solution. So this is the possibility if x equals to x naught is an ordinary point. If it is not, then it is called a singular point. It is called a singular point. Then the singular point will be of two types which will be discussed in forthcoming videos. So here we will concentrate only the situation when x equals to x naught is an ordinary point for which this qx by px and rx by px needs to be analytic at that point. We will take this, this solution and now the whole struggle was to find out the solution and we have already assumed the solution. So what we are left with that we need to find out the values of this a0, a1 and an. Now since it is a second order differential equation, so the same rule applies here also that the number of arbitrary constants that the solution may have will be only 2. So it cannot have a number of arbitrary constants. So here a0, a1, a2, they are not arbitrary constant, but they are the constants values of which are to be uh, find out, found out. So we will take one uh, question to make the situation more clear. So it is y dash minus 2xy is equals to 0. So the aim is to find out the series solution. So we will find out the series solution about the point x equals to 0, x naught is equals to 0 to uh, make the situation simpler and to understand it in a better way. So therefore, we can see that px, this, uh, this is a single order differential equation. So we can see that x is a uh, x naught equals to 0. So x equals to x naught is uh, this is analytic at x equals to x naught that is x equals to 0. So therefore x equals to 0 is an ordinary point and therefore this, the solution for which uh, the solution for this differential equation can be written as a n x raised to the power n n is from 0 to infinity. So this can be expanded x a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x is square and so on so forth a n x raised to the power n and thus. Now, the strategy is that we have assumed this solution by deciding that it is an ordinary point or not. Now, we need to substitute it back in the given differential equation to find out the values for these unknown constants. Remember, they, they cannot be uh, written only a0, uh, the solution cannot be written in form of a0, a1, a2. The values of these have to be found out. So, we will uh, for to substitute it in this differential equation we need to differentiate this so y dash x can be written as sigma n a n x raised to the power n minus 1 and we have to be extra cautious here that here n will start from 1 and this will be more clear from the expression uh, this one so here this a naught will become 0 because it does not involve any x so we will uh, this will be a2 2a2x and so on so forth. So it will be written as a n x raised to the power n minus 1 and plus n plus 1 a n plus 1 x raised to the power n. So then it will be written in terms of this. So here we can see in the expanded form that uh, we will be we are left with this a1. So we are not left with only n equals to 0. So we will substitute this expression y and y dash x in one. So if we substitute it in this one, so we will use both the forms so that situation may be clear to you. So it becomes n is equal to one to infinity minus two x. So x can be multiplied inside. So it is sigma a n x raised to the power n plus one and n is from zero to infinity. We have to be extra cautious about the uh, this index for n that whether it starts from 1 or for 0. Now here 
if we write down in the expanded form, then it can be written as a1 plus 2a2x plus n a n x raised to the power n minus 1 rest of the terms minus 2 x y. So, it is a naught x plus a 1 x is square and the nth term must always be written. So, it becomes like this and right hand side is equals to 0. So, this is the second step. First step is that we have assumed the solution and second step is that we have substituted y dash and y in the given differential equation. Now third step is that we will equate the various powers of x uh, on both the sides. So we will equate, we will equate the coefficients of, the coefficients of various powers of x. various powers of x on both the sides. So, let us start with x raised to the power 0 that is constant. So, we can see here that this is the only constant and on the right hand side also there is no uh, term. So, on uh, equating the coefficient of x raised to the power 0 we got the value of a naught that is a 1 that is 0. Similarly, we will equate the uh, other powers of x. So, x raised to the power 1 will be so, here it is 2a2 and here we have minus 2a0 and this equals to 0. So, it is giving the value as a2 is equals to a0, right? And similarly, we keep on uh, equating the coefficient of x. So, we will substitute, we will equate the coefficient of x raised to the power n. So, that can be written as, so from here we can see that it is n plus 1 a n plus 1 minus 2 a n 2 a n minus 1 is equals to 0. So, it can be seen that a n plus 1 can be written as 2 over n plus 1 a n minus 1. So, this is called recurrence relation this is called recurrence relation which will be used to find out the uh, uh, values of all the coefficients. So, we, we can substitute the values for n equals to uh, 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. This is not true for n equals to 0. This is this will start from n equals to 1. So, that is how we have established the recurrence relation. So, in this part of the video, we have started with the series solution because series solution has no restriction on the given differential equation. The differential equation can be of uh, uh, order, order we are taking as 2 or maximum 2 and then we are not having any restriction on the type of coefficient it must have. So, here we have taken the linear differential equation of second order with variable coefficients. So, for that the procedure is that we have assumed the solution. First, we, we need to decide whether the point about which we would like to find out the solution that is an ordinary point or not. If yes, then we need to assume the solution in the series form. We will, we have assumed the solution for y. We need to find out the derivative of y as, as per the requirement of the given differential equation and then we need to substitute the de derivatives and y in the given differential equation to find out the uh, expression for this uh, all the coefficient that is a0, a1, an. So, we have established the recurrence relation between the uh, coefficients to find out the values of all the coefficients. So, we will continue with the same, the more advanced stage of the same method in the up, uh, next part of the video. So, for more details on the methods, you can refer to the book from Ishan Publishing, details of which are given in this portion and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video because we have studied a very complicated method in a very simplified way. So, please do like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much.
All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.